أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما تأتي من آية من آيات ربهم إلا كانوا عنها معرضين الله عز وجل states no matter how much evidence and signs we show people they again stay away from them they do not look at these and they don't pay attention to it most people go according to their own minds and their own desires and ego, nafs. They do not follow what Allah shows them and commands them. They do not accept what Allah commands. And insist on living according to their own thinking. Go ahead, live as you like. But then there will be a punishment. Its punishment is huge. It's not like in this world. You can hire a lawyer and get rid of evidence in this world, but there is no such thing there. Allah has shown you signs and evidence. Everything shows His existence and points to His glory and magnificence. Yet, people think, I'm just going to live as I like and die and that's it. And there is no nothing afterwards. There is, there is a judgment and following that judgment and questioning it has a punishment. You will suffer those, that punishment. And nobody can take care of you there. Nobody will vouch for you there. Neither your father, mother or your siblings. Nobody. When the truth is seen there, everybody will think about saving themselves and they will try to save themselves only. They will have no thought of you or others. In any event, People of today, because they do not believe in the hereafter, they say we're just going to live and die and that's it. However, Allah's promise is the truth. Everything He promised will happen. We will see it all. Allah does not tyrannize anybody. Those who tyrannize are people themselves. Humans tyrannize themselves. If you go after lowly, dismal people, you will suffer the consequences and the punishment. You think you're having, you're enjoying yourself here, yet you're just making yourself go lower and lower. You're doing all sorts of filthy things here and then you think you're going to be saved. It has, there is no safety in doing that. The only safety is in going back to Allah, turning to Him, believing in Him and asking for forgiveness from Him, repenting. Allah is the all-forgiving. Allah will, ne will not let a servant who repents to Him and all the sins that they have committed, he can turn into good deeds and rewards. This door is Allah's beautiful door. It is the door of generosity, the door of mercy. Allah says to people, O people, turn back to me. Those who are oppressing themselves, do not oppress yourselves. Allah will not oppress you. Turn back to Allah. May we turn back to Allah.
May Allah protect us and may He strengthen our faith, inshallah.